whose signature shoe is better, James Harden's or Kevin Durant? So in this video, I'm gonna be putting the Adidas Harden Volume 7 against the Nike KD15, and we're gonna see which shoe is better, and also we're gonna see which shoe is probably better suited for you. So uh, of course, the KD15 is Kevin Durant's shoe, and it's going for 150 or 160 bucks, depending on the color, which is kind of weird. And the Harden Volume 7, which is James Harden's signature shoe, by Adidas of course, is going for 160 bucks. So if you guys do wanna cop either of these shoes, I'll try to leave them free link in the description box, but let's get started off with the Track Shield Nays. And if you're playing on a clean court, both of these shoes are freaking amazing. They have top tier bites, you'd stop on a dime, all the good stuff. And also you don't really have to break in either of these shoes. And also both of these shoes have a nice, loud, high-pitched squeak, which has nothing to do with performance, but I feel like most people like to have a nice loud squeak, right? Clean court, you're good to go on both of these shoes. If you're playing on a dusty court, however, the, the Harden Volume 7 picks up a little bit more dust. The KD15, I would say, bites through dust really, really well, especially in this colorway that I have. The Harden Volume 7, it's still really good on dust. It just picks up dust a little bit quicker, uh, but it's a super easy wipe, right? So uh, if you don't want to wipe, then uh, the KD15 obviously is a better option, but if you don't mind, then I'm on, honestly, the Hardens are still good. Uh, as far as the durability goes, however, the Hardens are gonna take the win for that, uh, just because the rubber is way harder here in the Hardens. We have a lot more grooves and the grooves are super deep. The KD15, the grooves are super thin, right? And the rubber is very, very soft. So uh, do not use the KD15 on the outdoor court. So uh, for, for the most part, they're both very, very good tractions, right? Top tier tractions, it just depends on where you're playing, obviously. Uh, but yeah, I had a good time playing in both of these shoes because of the great traction. All right, moving on to the heel to toe transition. They're both pretty damn smooth for me, right? So here in the KD15, we have the foam, which is soft, and we have a, like a little bit of a rounded shape. Here in the forefoot, we have a rounded shape and a good amount of forefoot flex as well, but also like a little bit of rebound back. Look at that springiness, you know? Uh, here in the hardens, however, uh, it's a little bit more soft. Right? It's a little bit more just on the flexible side of things, even though it does have like a full plate. You see all that through the translucent outsole? The KD15 is just like here in the midfoot, right? Um, so yeah, but also the hardens are still like super smooth. So here in the heel, we have a nice rounded shape, a nice little compression as well in the heel and also forefoot. We have that crazy curved shape, which I like, which Adidas doesn't give us a lot. And like I said, super flexible. So they're both very, very smooth, but the KD15 feels a little bit more like on the springier side of things. And then here in the Hardens, it's more like on, on the smoother, like more flexible side of things, right? All right, moving on to the cushioning setup. So they're both very, very different. And they're both really good cushioning setups, but very different, right? And I feel like uh, you just pick on like, which you prefer, you know? So the KD15, of course, uh, court feel, I would say, is average, right? Uh, maybe a little bit better than average, and then the Hardens is really, really good court feel. Impact protection, they're both good, but the KD15 obviously is better. And then uh, here in the KDs, we got full length zoom stroll. So you have a crazy amount of compression, crazy amount of bounce right underneath your foot, which can be a bit much for me at times. So um, I honestly, if I'm gonna pick an everyday shoe, in my personal opinion, I'd pick the Hardens, you know what I mean? The Hardens, you, you have light strike here in the forefoot and midfoot, and then here in the heel, we have boost. And then we have that softer type of stroll work. So step and cover is still really nice and comfortable, but it's a lot more subtle in the Hardens. And also impact protection is still good. It's adequate for me, obviously not as you know, good as a KDs, but it's still adequate. Uh, better court feel, it's more responsive as well. So in my personal opinion, I I, I, I don't know, like I, I feel like I'm over full length zoom stroll. You know what I mean? I mean, it's still nice, but then like, it's really nice at times, but also sometimes I just want like a really responsive setup. So uh, for me, I'd pick the Hardens, but if you love Zoom, then obviously the KDs are the better option, right? All right, moving on to the materials. So honestly, I would say I like the Hardens a little bit better. Like this mesh material, it feels like, especially for 150, 160 bucks and for a signature shoe, like Kevin Durant's signature shoe. Remember when they used to give us Flyknit, it, guys? You know what I mean? So this mesh material, I do like how it feels on foot though. Like it's thin, it conforms to your foot. It feels overall pretty supportive, but it's like, it's cheap. You know what I mean? It's pretty cheap feeling. You know what I mean? Especially like this material here in the heel. Uh, we do have the, the plastic cage, right? On the lateral and medial sides of the shoe. Here in the Hardens, however, right? So this material is super crappy, right? This synthetic suede material, it's like Nubuck. Uh, it's like, 
definitely not as thin as a KD's, but it's still like overall pretty thin. But like this here in the midfoot, it just feels super cozy. And, and then we have this knit booty. It's like a like a full on booty. And it's, it's a stretchy type of knit. So uh, it stretches over your foot. It feels like a sock. It's super comfortable. I like how it feels. So uh, I do like the coziness here in the midfoot. I do like the sock-like fit basically throughout the entire kind of like booty. And then the thinner material here in the foot. It just feels really nice. So um, I think in my personal opinion, I'd pick the hardened materials. Although the KD15 still feels nice. Like if you want the more minimal feeling material, then go with the KDs, right? But I, I'm gonna have to go with the hardens in my personal opinion. All right, moving on to the fit. So uh, the KDs, I went true to size, and also in the Hardens, I went true to size as well. And they both fit me pretty damn well. I'd say the KDs fit me a little bit better though. It fits me a little bit more perfectly uh, because I like to have a very snug fit. I have a very narrow foot as well. So uh, the KDs always usually fit me well. Hardens are a little bit more like roomier in places, right here in the toe box. It's a little bit roomier. Width-wise, it's a little bit roomier. But like I said, because of this inner booty, it just like kind of helps alleviate that. Uh, because it kind of stretches over your foot and has a sock like fit so it's still nice in the hardens for me but the kds are just a little bit better uh, but they're both uh, very nice fitting shoes for me personally and now moving on to the support and lockdown they're, it's, they're both uh, pretty damn good for lateral containment right so uh, here in the kds we got a good amount of lateral support uh here the foam's coming up we got the uh, lateral cage uh, here in the midfoot, right? It's just this plastic cage. Also, the, the laces go through it. And then here in the heel, it, we have the lateral cage and there's an internal, like crazy internal TPU heel counter. Same thing with the hardens. Look at that. Uh, we have all this caging coming up. Uh, we have this thick parka material. We have this caging coming up here in the heel and the internal TPU heel counter. So lateral containment, I was good to go. And also lateral stability. Look at that. They're both very, very wide base. I, probably the hardens are a little bit wider, right? Just a tiny bit. Uh, but the KDs are still good for lateral stability. However, however, uh, heel slippage. Heel slippage is uh, it wasn't terrible for me, but it just didn't feel completely locked down right here in the KDs. And I've heard some pretty bad stories about uh, about you guys saying the KDs like just came off while you're playing. So. Uh, yeah, uh, I've had a lot of reports of uh, the KDs having pretty bad heel slippage. Hardens, I don't really have any issues with that. So uh, my uh, advice to you guys would be, you know, if you can try the KDs on before buying it uh, to see if you have heel slippage, obviously that's the best option. But if you can't, uh, then maybe stay away from the KDs because heel slippage, like I, I know a lot of people that had it, right? So there's that. Moving on to the weight of the shoe. I mean, obviously the KDs are going to be lighter. Right? Uh, these aren't super light, however, like 12, 13 ounces, right? Yeah, 12.63 ounces. That's like average weight, not super light, but the, the hardens are like, what? Yeah, 15.17 ounces. So the hardens are definitely a lot heavier, uh, which does suck. You know, I definitely wish they would shed off some of the weight, you know what I mean, in the hardens, but whatever. It's still a response issue, right? I still feel very quick when I'm playing in the hardens. Uh, I love the low to the ground feel as well. It feels cozy, um, but if you want the more minimal feeling shoe, then obviously go with the KDs, uh, but they're both very responsive feeling shoes, right? All right, moving on to the uh, ventilation. Obviously the hardens are hotter, right? There's no ventilation holes. There's a lot of overlays and stuff like that. The KDs, you have this mesh material. There's good airflow through this. It's a thinner material, so, uh, better ventilation here in the KDs. Aesthetically, I, I like the Hardens. I love the Hardens. Uh, I'm probably in the minority here. Uh, I, I feel like most people will say the KDs, but I don't know, like I don't really like the KD colorways, like the KD 15 colorways that much. I also like the overall silhouette. I don't like this part, like this heel, and like also like this part here in the, in the for the midsole, and like not a huge fan. Like this part, like the midfoot, forefoot looks good, uh, but the heel, not a huge fan. Uh, the Hardens, however, I love this like kind of old school, but also it looks kind of modern as well type of look to it. So uh, my, in my opinion, the Hardens look better. Tell us what you guys think of the aesthetics down in the comment section below. So wrapping things up. So honestly, uh, they're both really nice. They're both really, really nice shoes and they're both top tier performers in my personal opinion. Uh, but uh, there are some cons, pros and cons to both of the shoes, right? It, it, for me personally, it wasn't terrible. Uh, obviously it's just the kitties for for me was the heel slippage, but it wasn't deal breaker. And the Hardens, they're freaking amazing, but the weight, you know what I mean? Um, so honestly, they're both amazing, but like for me personally, I feel like I choose the Hardens just because like I said, the cushion is a little bit more on the everyday. Like I, I could play in this every single day. The full-length zoom struggle, I feel like I'm more like, 
I want to play in it sometimes and sometimes I don't really want to play in it, you know what I mean? And also, I didn't really have any heel slippage or anything. And, all, and like I said, the weight wasn't a huge deal for me in the hardens just because it's a very responsive feeling shoe. I feel quick because the traction is good and stuff like that. So overall, in my personal opinion, I feel like the hardens, I, I picked the hardens more to play in than the KDs. Although I I still would pick the KDs, the KDs are still super nice, right? And obviously K, for the KDs, if you want the more minimal and also lighter feeling shoe, and also if you want that crazy balance from the full length zoom stroll unit, then go with the KDs, still a great performer. Just be careful of the heel slippage, right? But anyways, that about concludes this versus video. Again, if you guys do want to cop either of these shoes, I try to leave the free link in the description box, but that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.